Ever since Oumuamua unexpectedly entered our solar system in 2017, it has been a source of fascination for scientists. Initially classified as an asteroid, it was later reconsidered as a probable comet and even sparked speculation about it being an alien spacecraft. This 650-foot-long object swiftly traversed through the heart of our solar system toward the end of 2017, making a close approach to Earth, coming within approximately 15 million miles, equivalent to about 62 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon, before vanishing a few weeks after its detection. However, recent claims from Elon Musk and SpaceX experts suggest that Oumuamua's concealed characteristics might hold intriguing clues about extraterrestrial life in distant star systems. So what do we know about this mysterious visitor? Could it be a remnant of a shattered planet or perhaps propelled toward our Sun by some enigmatic cosmic forces? Let's delve into the details. The first ever interstellar object observed, Oumuamua, sparked great excitement among astronomers worldwide, prompting extensive investigations into the available data to unveil its mysteries. One of the puzzling questions that perplexed scientists revolved around Oumuamua's remarkable increase in speed as it rounded the Sun. In the realm of celestial dynamics, large objects such as planets and stars can exert gravitational forces that give smaller bodies like comets and asteroids a boost in speed. However, Oumuamua's acceleration was exceptional. It cruised at a staggering 54 miles per second, 87 kilometers per second, three times faster than the typical comets within our solar system. The gravitational nudges from larger celestial bodies, the usual culprits behind such accelerations, couldn't account for this extraordinary velocity. This mysterious acceleration led many scientists to consider Oumuamua as a comet rather than an asteroid. Comets within our solar system gather momentum as they approach the Sun due to the evaporation of water and dust from their icy cores. These comets are renowned for their iconic tails, created by the outgassing process. Intriguingly, Oumuamua exhibited no signs of a tail, further deepening the enigma. Numerous scientists attempted to formulate explanations for Oumuamua's acceleration, yet all proposed theories had notable gaps that left this phenomenon shrouded in uncertainty. Oumuamua's mysterious character includes its dark reddish hue, which closely resembles the coloration of various moons in the outer reaches of the solar system. This resemblance stems from the damage inflicted upon their icy organic molecules by the unrelenting radiation present in space, as per spectral data. Additionally, the presence of iron might contribute to this peculiar coloration, according to Dr. Meech. The exact origin and shape of Oumuamua remains shrouded in uncertainty. Various hypotheses have been proposed. Dr. Meech suggests that perhaps it was propelled away from its original star due to a supernova explosion. Another possibility is that it formed through a collision between two celestial bodies that merged to create this enigmatic visitor. Initially, astronomers were intrigued by the possibility that Oumuamua might have originated from Vega, the brightest star in the Lyra constellation, which is known to possess a debris disk. Calculations indicated that Oumuamua could have travelled from Vega to our solar system in approximately 600,000 years. However, the likelihood of Vega being the actual source has waned due to significant changes in Oumuamua's trajectory. Oumuamua's journey is indeed a fascinating exploration into the dynamics of our universe. It is believed that Oumuamua entered a new star system for the first time when it passed through our solar system. Its speed was comparable to other stars in its vicinity, indicating a possible long journey through the galaxy. However, there's also the intriguing possibility that Oumuamua has been traversing the Milky Way for billions of years, witnessing the solitude of stars and galaxies. This unique interstellar traveller, along with others of its kind, offers a different perspective on our galaxy. The elements that compose everyday objects, from the gold in wedding bands to the oxygen and iron in our blood, were formed in cataclysmic cosmic events like supernova explosions. Oumuamua's existence reminds us of the interplay between celestial bodies, like the frequent exchange of meteorites between Earth and Mars, which might even have transported life between these two planets when Mars was more hospitable. To truly grasp our connection to the cosmos, we can look at Oumuamua's potential journey of hundreds of thousands of years. While this might seem like a substantial period, it's just a fraction of the Milky Way's age, which is approximately 10 billion years. 
In this time frame, Oumuamua could have encountered numerous star systems, perhaps around 20,000 within our galaxy's lifetime, although this is a small fraction of the Milky Way's grand total of 200 billion stars. It's like adding unique stamps to Oumuamua's cosmic passport as it journeys through the tapestry of the universe. Thanks to Oumuamua's journey, it left a trail of dust and debris in its wake, mingling with the stars and planets in our galaxy. This intriguing event hints that the universe might be more interconnected than we previously thought. While Oumuamua is no longer visible in our solar system, it hasn't left our celestial neighborhood just yet. Elon Musk and experts at SpaceX and NASA have made predictions about Oumuamua's path. It's expected to enter the Kuiper Belt around 2024 and pass its outer edge in late 2025. Further calculations suggest that it will come closest to the Voyager probe's current positions in 2038. Although our Oort cloud is projected to extend beyond 100,000 astronomical units AU, by 2196, Oumuamua will once again be at a distance of 1,000 AU from the Sun. Therefore, the exact moment when Oumuamua officially crosses the edge of the solar system depends on how you define that edge. Although Oumuamua is now far beyond our reach, astronomers are making the most of the limited data they obtained during its brief visit to understand this unusual interstellar visitor. Initially mistaken for an asteroid, Oumuamua, measuring about 2,600 feet in length and 260 feet in width, puzzled scientists in several ways. Astronomers used the Spitzer Space Telescope to observe Oumuamua in the infrared spectrum for over 30 hours, although the results were inconclusive. They expected to detect some thermal characteristics if it behaved like a comet. However, they found no such indications. This led to the hypothesis that Oumuamua must be brighter than they initially thought if it displayed comet-like thermal traits. Astronomers often gauge an object's shape, size and composition by studying how much light it reflects, known as reflectivity. Oumuamua's reflectivity was unusual. It exhibited around 10% reflectivity, which is higher than the typical 4% reflectance observed in comets. This raised questions about its nature as a comet. Furthermore, during the same infrared studies, no signs of carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide outgassing were detected. Scientists had considered the possibility that Oumuamua might be emitting these gases at higher levels, but the data did not support this notion. This lack of conclusive evidence further complicated the characterization of Oumuamua. Given that Oumuamua originated in a different solar system, these peculiarities could be common among objects from other star systems, challenging our preconceived notions about these interstellar travelers. Now, you might be wondering what scientists and experts at SpaceX are doing to uncover more about Oumuamua. Surprisingly, there are various mission proposals aimed at achieving just that. For instance, there's Project Lyra, put forth by the Institute for Interstellar Studies, I4IS. This project aims to employ advanced propulsion technology to reach and investigate interstellar objects, ISOs, like Oumuamua. According to their latest research, if this mission concept were launched in 2028 and executed a complex jupiter oberth maneuver JOM, it could reach Oumuamua in approximately 26 years. On October 30, 2017, a mere two weeks after the discovery of Oumuamua, the Initiative for Interstellar Studies initiated Project Lyra. The primary goal of this concept study was to determine if a mission to intercept Oumuamua using current or soon-to-be-available technologies was possible. Since then, the I4IS team has delved into various studies exploring the feasibility of reaching this interstellar object. These studies involved the consideration of methods like nuclear thermal propulsion and a laser sailcraft, which bears similarity to the breakthrough Starshot concept aimed at an interstellar journey to Alpha Centauri in just two decades. Their studies have found that many of the previously proposed approaches for reaching Oumuamua with near-term technologies rely on a solar Oberth maneuver, SOM. A case in point is the Sundiver concept proposed by researcher Corin Baylor-Jones from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy. This concept exploits the sun's radiation pressure to obtain high velocities with a light sail. 
Explaining the principle of the Oberth effect, Baylor Jones stated, the Oberth effect involves applying your thrust when you are moving at the highest speed relative to the body you are orbiting, which in the case of the sun diver is the sun. The closer you are to the sun in your orbit, the faster your speed. To take advantage of the Oberth effect, you need to get as close to the sun as possible. At the core of the solar Oberth maneuver and other Oberth maneuvers is a technique known as gravity assist, which has been instrumental in exploring our solar system since the early 1970s. Gravity assists involve leveraging the gravitational forces of three celestial bodies, the spacecraft itself, a second body, often a massive planet that provides the assist, and the central body around which the spacecraft's trajectory is being controlled. In the quest to find alternatives to the SOM, SpaceX delved into a tried and tested route that will capitalize on Jupiter's potent gravitational influence. Part of their rationale for considering this approach was the inherent challenges posed by a solar gravity assist maneuver. While the concept of a solar gravity assist maneuver appears promising on paper, it's never been executed before, resulting in a low technology readiness level rating. Given that Oumuamua represents the nearest piece of interstellar matter within our reach, a rendezvous mission would offer invaluable scientific insights. Such a mission could provide humanity by the mid-century and at a relatively low cost with the first opportunity to observe other star systems. More importantly, it could finally unravel the numerous enigmas that Oumuamua posed during its historic flyby near Earth a few years ago. Was it a nitrogen iceberg? Was it an extraterrestrial craft? Or perhaps something entirely different? With the right approach, we may find answers to all of these questions by the middle of this century. That's all for today. Feel free to share your thoughts on Oumuamua in the comments below. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more captivating videos about space.